Hello everybody, this is a video today that relates to what I have discussed in many other videos about President, former President Barack Obama. In this video you're going to see various subjects and I'm going to try to overview what I'm talking about in this. First of all, in the graphic you can definitely see that um, there's a lot of things that are similar, if not identical, to Barack Obama uh, and the fact that um, in Omen 3, the uh, final conflict, Damien Thorne was not the president, but he had high-ranked positions within the government beyond it just being about himself being a multi-millionaire. And, uh, the first fact I would like to bring out is the fact that people in this country continually have uh, direct loyalties to Obama even though he's not president anymore. Uh, the Democrats, for example, um, at a recent uh, State of the Union that uh, Donald Trump made, you had a group of women who dressed all in white. and. They said it was in um, retaliation to the fact that uh, Hillary did not win the election. But then you also have to see it from another perspective. The Democrats themselves never stood or applauded when Trump made his uh, State of the Union address. This is total contrast to when Obama was president. It was like you were totally expected and the Republicans obviously did at every one of his national statements that he made to the to the Congress or to the Senate, uh, they stood up and they applauded whether they believed it or whether they uh, even liked it or not. And now a contrast is that Dem the Democrats are totally against him uh, and there is no retaliatory action taken by the Republicans or the media that the Democrats don't show the respect that Trump deserves as president. and. Again, this could very likely have to do with the fact that Trump is um, he's not respected because everybody's loyalties are still to Obama. And in the movie, the Omen 3 movie, you had followers of Damien Thorne who, from every place on earth, they all merged in this one instance where Damien Thorne told everybody, uh, I'm having a meeting and I want you all here and they were there it was no questions asked and when he showed up every time he would tell them to do something they would say we hear and I see all of that same philosophy coming through in Obama's followers too uh, this this total arrogant attitude that because the Republicans won the White House that that justifies them acting like spoiled brats uh, acting as though that he is the highest executive officer of this country and they don't show him the respect that he sh he deserves but it's it's an adamant kind of arrogance to say you're not the president of the United States that we wanted so therefore we're not going to respect you or honor you and you know Donald Trump should have said in his State of the Union was if you're not happy with me you should go somewhere else. You should go to another country because in other nations where there are dictators like Obama, if you didn't adhere to his philosophies, they would just take you out and shoot you. Good example, Iraq. When Saddam Hussein was the president uh, of the country, the people who were there who didn't agree with his philosophies, he took them out and shot them point blank. and. I know Obama didn't get to that to that phase of his presidency, but when you see his followers re retaliating like they're doing against Trump, I don't think there's anything beyond the scope of the Democrats doing the things they, they are doing and getting away with it. It's not going to just phase out. It's not a it's not an issue of them just upset now and it's going to go away. I don't I don't see that happening in four years. I think the Democrats are just going to keep up this constant uh, attack against Trump on everything he says or he tries to do for this country. And if you're retarded enough to see only what Obama 
wants you to do as a follower of his, then what you see in this movie, Omen 3, is very, very likely to happen within the next four years before Trump comes up for re-election in 2020. Now, a lot of things can happen before 2020. And there are a lot of things that you can speculate about, but there is no, there's no question or doubt in anyone's mind that Obama has instigated his shadow government. And how do you do a shadow government except that it's through the Socialist Party? The Socialists have that kind of control. They can control everything. They have had control of the media since, even before the campaign started uh, a year and a half ago, for president. They were encouraging, endorsing Hillary Clinton and Obama, and on every front of the campaign, they were putting down Trump. And so now you have Obama telling the media, put out fake news, put out everything you have to to make this whole thing look even more ridiculous to the Republicans. Make them look like fools. And nobody is asking why didn't we prosecute or hold accountable the media for making those false statements and false news reports against Trump. Because if the Democrats had done that uh, during Obama's presidency, or let's say the Republicans had, I guarantee you the Democrats would have, would have prosecuted all those people who even brought up such stuff. And you've got a lot of folks in this country right now who are saying that, you know, we aren't a, we're not a united nation, a, a state or a, a country of people because one group is obviously having the uh, dictatory philosophy and power to, to dictate what everybody else does, even though he's no longer the president. And I'm talking about Barack Obama himself. He still is doing these kinds of illegal acts against this country, and I say it has to end. Somebody has got to take a stand against the Democrats and say, Donald Trump is our president, and if y'all can't live with that, then you should go to another nation or you should go somewhere else where you can either be with Obama or you can be in a dictatory uh, tyrant uh, environment like maybe in, in Cuba with Raul Castro or even going to the very place people are hypocritically saying that Trump had ties with and that's Russia. Russians are not democratic but they do live by a totalitarianism philosophy which is socialism which means whatever Putin tells his people they'll do because they know that they have no option or choice except to accept him. As their, as their ruler. Now, one other subject that I want to discuss about the Antichrist, and yeah, indirectly I am saying Obama seems to have ties to the kinds of things that were proven in the movie, Omen 3, that he was the Antichrist. He was actually Satan's son on earth. Um, technology has obviously caught up with our society, and you know that. People cannot live anymore without an iPad or an iPhone or a smartphone or any of these other kinds of high-tech things that people have. And I make a reference to this one. The Galaxy S series of phones have now come out with a phone which gives persons the opportunity to see virtual reality in a three-dimensional format. You can put these goggles on your face and I'm going to be showing that video of the commercial. Now. In the 90s, there was a film series called Left Behind. In the second film called Tribulation Force, Tribulation, the Antichrist used technology to force people to accept him. And in this scene I'm going to be showing, it shows this black man who was arrested for being a Christian. And the Antichrist had initiated this kind of uh, virtual reality pair of goggles. And when you put them on, you were sent straight into his computer, and that's what actually ended up killing you, because it was using your, your mind to manipulate what you were seeing and how you were experiencing things. And the black guy said to this 
to the, the Antichrist, I'm, I'm not following you and I'm not going to believe or accept you. And so it took this man's deepest fear of snakes and it killed him with his own fear. And I say, here you got a Galaxy 7 phone being advertised on television saying we can send you into a virtual reality world. And it's not impossible to say that same technology will not be used against Christians, especially us, not so much Muslims, but against Christians uh, because they won't uh, accept or adhere to whatever Obama intends to do in the future. And I thought it was relevant to say that in this video because when I saw that commercial last week on television, I was thinking, whoa, you know, it was already in tribulation, the movie, 20 years ago. And here now they're instigating that very same type of technology. People think, oh, it's just a game, it's just to give you whatever. There's nothing that the military nor the government cannot use, if they have it, to manipulate people. And with Antichrist, he'll take it a step further and he'll not only make you accept him and adhere to his philosophy, he'll kill you with that same technology. Why do you think people cannot live without things that they own now? You know why? Because the government has taught you in the last 20 years that if you want all these things, you have to accept us, but you also have to do what we tell you to do, and that's socialism as well. But it's, it's a scary scenario to look at technology and to see it uh, kind of like mirroring the same things that we saw in film 20 years ago and think, oh, that was just science fiction, and it's not science fiction because it's right here in front of us, and people still are too blind to grasp it. And I just, I just got to tell you folks, this is, this is not going to stop. It's not going to go away because if we don't stand up as a nation, if we don't stand up as a nation and say we are individuals and we are not clones, we are not uh, animals that you can uh, manipulate us to be. Obama may be gone as president of this country, but he's very much still there. He's very much in the background because you can see it in all of the kinds of reactions and retaliations by the Democrats. And I don't believe anymore that this is a uh, an isolated instance where certain groups of Democrats all over the country are retaliating only because of Obama lost the election or Hillary lost the election. That the Democrats don't still control this country. That's why most people are saying um, they're retaliating because of the fact that Hillary lost the election. Too bad, you know, she's, she didn't win. People did not want her. And, and, and acting like infants or children about this, saying, well, we don't like this or we don't like that, it's not going to change the fact or the reality that Trump is the man who won the election, accept it, and try everything you can as an American citizen to work and accept the fact that we're trying to get this nation back on track with what we were before 9-11. Remember, only seven years after 9-11 is when Obama became president. George W. Bush was, even though there's a lot of bad things about him, we, f we found out he was a really, he was somewhat of a legitimate president because he wanted to try to keep the country together. Obama never did in the eight years he was president. He wanted to destroy this country. He wanted to tear us apart as a nation, and he's still doing it. And I just, really, I just had to say that because the more blind you get about Obama and about how hateful you feel about Trump, it doesn't change the fact that unless Democrats do something really heinous against Trump himself, then there's no way they can change what he's trying to do because he's trying to do what's right for this country. And I hope people who watch this video grasp that because otherwise, if you want another Obama, Antichrist, figure who's a socialist, hey, 